I've, I've heard so many things about firewalls. What is a firewall? It keeps the malicious threat out of our network entirely. So let's say someone's breaching the firewall. How do you know it's that? Do you have sirens that go off? Or kind like, of. Okay, like top five common things that you have to watch out for. I every day open up a few different types of consoles and look for, you know, weird items, weird traffic coming through the firewalls. That's something that takes up a lot of my time. Ooh. If something does not meet the requirements set by the federal government for their security, I address those. I'm always concerned about phishing. I'm always concerned about, like, you know, different types of people downloading malware or malicious software. Not like that. Okay. There's bait in an email. Oh, you won this gift card. And I think there's a lot of people that look at those and are like, I would never fall for that. So they're not real? You don't really get a, a gift card? Not. You do not. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's sad. Tell us about a situation where you had to, like, top into action. <laughs> we had a person that... Oh my goodness, you doing okay? Yeah, I'm great. Do you do this every day? Yeah. When our security team notices some kind of malicious traffic coming in from an IP address, mm -hmm. they put in a request to me. I look at it, I you know analyze it, and then I you know I push it forward in the process, and I make sure that it actually happens. So that way, we we are blocking the people that are trying so hard to get in. So, what's the worst possible thing that could happen? ransomware with no backups or anything. That's when a malicious actor, a malicious person, gets into your network and they say, you gotta give me this amount of money for me to release your data back to you. And the only way to actually kind of remediate that is to have a backup of your data that's really recent or keep them out in the first place. But if it's already happened, then you're kind of screwed a little that's bit. That's sad. It's, it is really sad. All right, so what's next? We're going to lunch. I like lunch. <sighs>what does a cybersecurity engineer eat? Or is it like top secret? Well, not really, but I am a vegan. Oh, cool. Did you know that when you first started getting into the tech field that, hey, I want to be cyber security engineer? I went to school for animation and I discovered that I really wasn't that good of an artist. <laughs> oh, is that funny? <laughs> no. But that's totally fine. I found another skill and that skill was computers. I worked for the Geek Squad. Then I was the systems administrator for a company. All of those things were critical to my life. So let's get to the Google Career Certificates. What part did that play in where you are today? I still go back to the concepts that I learned basically every single day. When did you get it? I, I think I got it like two-ish years ago. I did it very, very slowly. I went back and I rewatched those videos several times over until yeah. the information really started sticking. Would you say it helped you kind of have like a bargaining tool to like get paid more? I mean, it, it did. My first help desk job was at the Geek Squad and I used it to leverage part-time to full-time and a small raise if I remember correctly. So uh, there's no chance of anyone ever hacking you. I wouldn't say that. <laughs> Do you feel like you're contributing to society in like a certain way? I think so. I've seen people lose money. I've seen people lose connections. The preventative work that I do could prevent somebody down the line from having like an incident that shatters their entire life. You're basically a superhero behind the scenes. Which is flattering. I have a very free life outside of my job. I do some mutual aid with a group called LA Neighbors for Neighbors. And this job gives me the money where if somebody needs to go to the doctor and doesn't have insurance, I can just pay that out of pocket. You do a lot for being 24. I do do a lot of stuff and sometimes I get a little bit tired, but I think that I've struck a really good balance recently. And I think that I'm getting a lot of really good work done and I feel like I'm learning something every day. And that's a feeling that I really value in my work. All right, let's cheers. Acai bowl cheers. <laughs> okay. That's a thing. <laughs>